Hey, we are the coalition, and again, we are again at, and again, at the uh, Pawtucket City School Committee special meeting, sort of an emergency meeting to do a, a, a next step on what's going on at the brand new winter school, the somewhat challenged but hopefully emerging winter school in the, in the coming days. Uh, again, the, uh, the chair of the city school department has always been very gracious with his time, Jim Shalel. Um, long day. You just got through a media scrum. Just two quick questions I wanted to cover. One related, unrelated. Um, unrelated, the, uh, I guess two meetings ago, if I have that right, a conversation was had about establishing a formal search committee for the uh, school superintendent. Um, and how is that going and when do you expect that to kick off? Um, March 14th is the first, you know what, Pat? <laughs> the first meeting was tonight. It was scheduled tonight. We had to cancel because this took precedent. Fair enough, so, fair enough. Uh, but, so she rescheduled it. Uh, committee member Doobie is going to be the chairperson. Okay. And she rescheduled it uh, for March 14th. Don't quote me on that one. No, I know fine. you're live, but I no, think that's, it's March. It's, but yeah, it's she, hard she has to the say. team together. Mm -hmm. And um, and we're going to meet March 13th. Well, I'm not on it mm -hmm. uh, as the chair, but um, uh, so she'll have her team together uh, very soon. And okay. she's good. She's very organized. No, no, we, we know that. Uh, you know... It's interesting because events and controversy and difficulty bring out the best in people. Uh, clearly, the school committee has a great deal of confidence in the confidence, excuse me, in the uh, interim superintendent uh, Ramsey. Uh, does does this kind of performance make her almost a, a no brainer? You want to comment on that? Um, Would I'll you support her? I would support her, but I have another comment. Does she does she even go for it? Okay. But, you know what I mean? We we open this up for everybody to apply. Right. And we're gonna get the best person. Again, we have seven well, six tonight, but we have seven members on the school committee. I'm only one and I've been fortunate enough to be with her in a meeting yesterday. Joanne's been the last two days. Uh, committee member Grant has had one on ones. I haven't had as many one-on-ones with Lisa, uh, with uh, Assistant, no, Acting Superintendent Ramsey. But Pat, what I saw her do yesterday with all these professional, um, you know, H, you know, HVAC people and engineers, she acknowledged that she doesn't have the background of how hot water goes to a coil, but still was able to lead that meeting to get herself educated enough to know, is it safe enough? with the mitigation that we're going to be putting in place, the mitigated acts that is going to go forward, uh, putting uh, antifreeze in the coolant, uh, mm -hmm. in, in the uh, system, turning off in air conditioning, and having the um, alarm system. She educated herself over two days of just absorbing all this information. Uh, I was impressed by what she did. I was impressed by the questions, the poignant questions, in a field that she doesn't really know a lot about. Right. Oh, I understood. You know, now speaking of being on trial in a sense, the, the city of Pawtucket, depending where the money comes down, depending on the, the stadium versus the Unified High School, is about to engage on one of the, if not the most significant construction projects in this city's, well, almost history, recent history, and of course that's the construction of the Unified High School. Are these vendors, I'll use the word, are they on trial right now in terms of their participation in future uh, program, particularly when you look at the size and scope of a construction prog project like can that. I, can I use the word trial? Uh, Notice? I, uh, with me? No, I, they, no, they, no I, with me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I want to know much more about going forward. That's why this isn't going to be just, we're not here just to, as, as for a show. This wasn't a po show, uh, dog and pony show tonight. Right. We are going to hold someone accountable, Pat. Mm -hmm. Someone needs to be held. One, it happens in our boy, we're, we're mad and right. Right, who did that? The second one has us all, every member, whether right. we agree or disagree politically up here, you heard all of us with a unified voice, mm -hmm. who did this, why did this happen, and you're going to be held accountable. So going forward on the project, Pat, mm -hmm. human nature with me, uh, I like the word you used, and you know what, I think I will use that. They're on, tri they're on trial. Okay. I want to know who's going to be putting stuff inside my buildings now because of this. Absolutely. No, that's, uh, taxpayers want to hear that. Yeah. That's, uh, you know... Because right they now it's it. they, oh. they, they shouldn't just hear it. We sh they should be demanding that of, of us. Mm -hmm. That's why we got to find out what happened. We can't just blame. Uh, I know there's company name. I'm not going to call out company. No, it doesn't. Yeah, right. One, I don't know everyone that did it. Right. But um, we got to find out who and what it was before right. we say the name. There, there's and there's no never mind here. Yes, you're absolutely right. Correct. So. Superintendent, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chair Shalal, thanks I'm again for your time. You no, you're always a good sport at the end of the meeting. It's been a long day. Uh, 
all of you are all of you work full time. All of you have families, and so again, uh, thanks for joining me tonight. Thank you. I don't know if you heard, Don, why I was not at the last couple of meetings. If that's why you do the family thing, so thank you. Okay.